There's so many good artists. There's so much creativity that there's very little originality left. There's very little we can do that hasn't already been done in some form. Okay. The only thing I have that nobody else has is myself. There's young Jim, and then middle Jim is over here, and this is old Jim. The self-portraiture came about. I didn't think about it, I didn't design it, I didn't want it, and it went from photography to painting to drawing to, to, to all of it. I had no plans. I react to everything intuitively. I'm in a house by myself, and the self-portraiture just kind of filled the house. Let me see here. Let's start with the top. It's infinite variety, luck of the draw. And what it amounts to is the creator, however you want to define the creator. The creator just takes this pixie dust and throws it out. The combinations of whatever interaction that thing has is infinite variety. And that's led to us. And our lot in life is luck of the draw. Well, this is my American family, the pretty mom and uh, the hard-working dad. He was a truck driver at this point. He had a weekly trip to Kansas City and back. I grew up in a house without music and without books. My 20s were troubled. I was diagnosed with clinical depression. In 1966, I found hippie dump. That very first bloom of hippiedom was innocence and joy and love and you know all of those things. The transition was instant. I was going this way and all of a sudden, <laughs> I'm out of here someplace. I am a self-proclaimed hippie, period. Without hippiedom, I would not be here. Everybody was looking for enlightenment and some friends of ours introduced us to EST. EST was a self-help seminar that was part of a trend of the era. And as part of an exercise in EST, they would get you to relax, breathing. It was guided meditation. And you would build yourself a space. Whatever you wanted it, it's your space. And when that's all completed, you would bring a box into that space. That box was your gift to yourself. My box was three feet square and six feet tall. It was sitting in the back of the space. I opened the box and I'm standing in the box. The image in my mind was a true self-portrait. It was like a revelation. Me looking back at me. And pretty soon I was doing self-portraits. And the whole house became the studio. The house is the ultimate self-portrait. The 
it's rewarding to look really closely at things. Jim talks a lot about this idea of fractals, and everything has become an abstraction of Jim, his life, his home, and his own practice in, in some form or another. So you'll see something like photos and images and sculptures that have then become photographs or vice versa. Then you'll see iron-ons that go onto t-shirts mm -hmm. or decals that mm -hmm. end up on a wall that then turns into a card that then gets mailed out. Or maybe the card becomes part of an installation that then becomes a set for photographic collage works. So it all gets folded together in a really interesting way. I like to say it's like the Hubble Space Telescope. Like The further you look, the further back in time you're actually seeing. My wife and I bought the house in 19... Uh, 73. We lived here for 10 years and, and we got a divorce. So I've lived here by myself for 25 years and I, I've grown attached to the house. It, you're kind of looking at the inside of me, you know, I'm, I've turned myself inside out. This is what you see. <laughs> I've literally touched every square inch of this place, personally. I've painted it, I've cleaned it, I've raked it, I've planted it. It's like a homestead, you know, somebody lives someplace their whole life and the decision to pack it all up and sell the house and move was an idea that just kind of blossomed all at once. I knew what I was going to do. It's it just, bring there it was, that's what I'm going to do. I referred to uh, my move as like a snake shedding its skin. This is the piece. So that's the footprint that keeps the thing in its place. And then this keeps it from shifting. This is made up out of one, two, three boxes that are this big. So they're just nested. And this piece goes here. These are all parts that kind of go around, that are articulated uh, around the, the bottom and around here. Some of these little pieces I won't, I won't go through. But this, this sits here. Me selling and leaving the house is the end of my self-portraiture. and I don't know where it will go from there. Selfies are the modern digital idiom of self-expression, so here's my entry. A lifetime of introspection, as seen through my own history, has been transcribed into the narcissistic self-portrait accounting represented here, at the water's edge, in the land of selfies, where Narcissus dwells. These are details on something that's just growing. It just gets bigger and bigger. It's you, it's society, it's everything. Life is a fractal. It regenerates itself constantly with the same information. It's a form of self-perpetuation. Oh. This is kind of the natural progression of that. 
I've used myself as my uniqueness, not the process or not the medium. To put this all in a box and leave it, I'm ready for it now. I'm ready for all the work to be done and <laughs> so I can move on, okay. Let's, let's finish that and let me do something else.